So I've been walking around the city for quite some time now and there's something that just fascinates me. I went to Hong Kong during the anti-tradition law amendment bill movement. And as you may already know, I was in this city during a troubling time. Massive protests in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong has escalated to its worst level in six months of unrest. I was there for a few days now, and I spent a lot of time exploring the street of Hong Kong. And when you walk around the city, there's something that you can notice everywhere. You can see them on the road, above the road, on side streets, on buildings, and even in the protest itself, where workers recently built street blockades and even a brick-throwing bamboo siege. But it's on the construction site that I found the use of bamboos the most striking. You can find construction workers almost defying gravity. And these real-life Spider-Men are not just building two stories. Sometimes they are building skyscrapers. In today's video, I'm going to try to explore Hong Kong bamboo scaffolding culture and try to explain why such an ancient technique is still in use in Hong Kong today. Bamboo is a fast-growing and renewable resource. It needs little maintenance to farm as it doesn't need any pesticide to grow. It takes in carbon dioxide and produces up to 35% more oxygen than its tree equivalent. And it's a very eco-friendly resource that is sustainable and can be recycled for other types of use. Don't worry, Chinese bamboo is very strong. When you see men suspended 10 feet in the air on a structure made out of bamboos, it's true that the first word that comes to mind is safety. But so are the words green alternative. The earth says hello. You notice this entire structure is made out of bamboo. Look at it. With growing awareness of the problem of climate change, people worldwide are searching for new and innovative alternatives. Given that bamboo is actually a grass plant, it's an excellent sustainable alternative to cutting down trees. But Hong Kong scaffolding culture didn't start as a way to save the environment. The use of bamboo for scaffolding can be traced back to the building of the Great Wall of China. Put it simply, the Chinese have been using bamboos for food, clothing, transportation, paper, firewood, bridges and buildings for thousands of years. Although bamboo are used in multiple countries in Asia, Hong Kong bamboo scaffolding masters are able to build walls and platforms 70 story high, strong enough to hold a legion of construction workers. And these talented artists have helped build the foundation and now the skyline of Hong Kong. The photographer Peter Stanhauer immortalized this in his photography of Hong Kong building scaffolding in his body of work, Cocoons. To build strong, intricate framework, good foundation is essential. Not just about tying bamboo securely, it's also about knowing the physics and law of weight. There are two kinds of bamboos used in most Hong Kong scaffolding. They are called Kaoju, pole bamboo, and Maoju, hair bamboo. Maoju is thicker and stronger, so it's used as the load-bearing support while Kaoju is thinner and used for platforms, bracing, and horizontal support. So now, there's something that I want to show you because I actually have a bamboo in my house. It's just around the corner, right here. So this thing will be considered a hair bamboo, so Maoju, but it can be used as a pole bamboo, Kaoju, because obviously this is not thick enough. So this kind of bamboo will be used to support people's weight. Obviously, this one are way too thin to be used, but uh, this is actually a fake plant. You probably don't want to use that for construction because the bamboos that they use in Hong Kong are actually a different variety of bamboos. Alright, let's get back to the studio. 
A sturdy pull of bamboo kaoju costs between 100 and 300 Hong Kong dollars, while a hair bamboo maoju only costs between 15 and 20 Hong Kong dollars. Bamboos are really cheap because they can grow quickly since it's a grass plant and not a tree, and it can be used up to three times before being discarded. Isn't Mother Nature amazing? The length of bamboo is half as heavy as the same length of steel tube scaffolding used elsewhere in the world. That makes it far easier and faster to work with. It's locally available and it's said to be six times faster to put up than steel, 12 times faster to take down, and it's a fraction of the cost. So to summarize, there are four attractive factors that made bamboo scaffolding an overwhelming choice in Hong Kong over steel. Cost, weight, durability, and time. It's pure economics. They choose the resource that made the most sense economically. So there's something here to learn about it. The use of bamboos in Hong Kong illustrates that when economics meet abundance, we can get realistic sustainability. When renewable resources become cheaper, it makes more sense for industries to use them. And these resources can become a sustainable alternative. It was really refreshing to see that here in Hong Kong, they've managed to keep an ancient tradition that was sustainable yesterday to use today. Even though this tradition is slowly disappearing, this is a powerful reminder that there's always more than one way to do things. Phew! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. When I was doing some research about this video, I came across a TED Talk by Elora Hardy. The TED Talk is titled Magical Houses Made Out of Bamboo. And a lot of the footage that I have of the houses made out of bamboos actually came from that TED Talk. I think this is a great talk to watch and I highly recommend you guys to check it out. I would love to live in a house made out of bamboo. I mean, yeah, that would be, that'd be quite nice. If you're new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content like this one, don't forget to leave a comment below right here if you have any question about... Just show some love, guys. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.